Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, Monday was a really weird day uh, with uh, me having this deck prepped and then immediately like, oh, there's a last chance qualifier. Oh, there's another last chance qualifier later today. And I just like, we played a little bit of this deck, but I was like really distracted and uh, I was really excited for it. I was kind of disappointed how I just kind of like felt like I needed to move on to the um, I need to move on to like the like prep for the last chance qualifiers. Those are done. We lost. Um, but now we get to return to the Indignity Jewel Tron. Played the deck a little bit more. Um, I've been like not that happy with dismembers overall in the main deck. I feel like I'm just killing myself with them, and I want to be able to play the board a little bit more. And I think this Ballista is kind of like the the right card to fill that role. You know. Does a little bit of synergy with the jewel because you get to pump it later, and, and it, it it does kind of make Zerta better too to have Ballista in your deck. You kind of have this like late game your Academy ruins back your Ballista, pumping it up a bunch. Um, not not a huge thing, but just like some a lot of small synergies. Uh, but the, the big thing, the big update is kind of not really this change of like the Ballistas. We're also playing a Zerta Signet over Demir Signet, so all of our Signets cast Zerta now. Um, because we were playing Demir earlier for Dismember. But the biggest update is that I've decided to mulligan more aggressively. I'm just not, not going to keep a seven or six card hand that doesn't either have, uh, Jewel or, like, or Likely Tron. Although, th 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 there, there's, there's, like, a little bit of an extra range where you can keep, uh, you can keep Signet into Ring, I think. I think you can keep, like, two land Signet Ring. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be mulliganing like a lot more aggressively than I was on Monday too. Yeah, the rare Zerta deck. Usually these uh, Enigma Jewel decks want to play Urza Saga, but you know Urza Saga in, in Tron is kind of tough because you already have other other colorless utility lands and uh, need your blue mana. Yeah, this deck is really sick too. It's just so 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 sweet. Back in the tome. Um, I don't know that I cut the tome. I think I I really like one tome. I think that. The first copy of Tome is, is like, I'm pretty happy to draw it every single... It's weird. I feel like you really like drawing one. I don't know how often you're, like, very happy to draw the second copy, but maybe I'm wrong. The life gain with Ring is nice, for sure. Okay, so I think this is kind of one of these more borderline hand, hands that I would be, like, keeping if this was Monday and probably losing. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go to go to six here. And then this is kind of exactly what I'm talking about, like... Look, we have we have Enigma Jewel into and to double signet, potentially also fire our ice on turn two. And we can somewhat comfortably just put back a Tron land here since um since we have our mana from our Enigma Jewel. Like we're gonna have uh six mana on turn three. They Jimstone Cavern's pitching expedition map, so probably another Tron variant. Nim yeah, Nimble Obstructionist is uh, a blue and two mana to cycle. And when you cycle, you get to draw your card from your cycle, of course. Oh, baby. And then you also get to counter an activated or triggered ability. Okay, opponent is over there cooking. So I have the option of just cycling ice on my main phase here. But I think I'd rather like play the one ring and ice next turn. Icky, I'm really excited what they're doing. I've been trying to play Enigma Jewel in the Icky deck a little bit. I think you're missing like you're not you're you're a little bit far away from having enough enablers. Well, oh, it does kind of look like they're just regular Amulet Titan with Gymstone Caverns and pitch their Urza Saga two to target here. Um, Ring is very good against Amulet Titan, chaining them together especially. Let's just go ahead and cast the ring, see what we draw. Dom plays one gemstone. Yeah, gemstone's interesting for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a land to play for turn. I think we just... Let's see, so ice this, they... They have Teleria West, so if I ice the Boros Garrison... They play like Civic Growth Chamber, four six. Yeah, they they still can't they still can't T West and Pact all in one turn. Even if I 
don't use the ice. I also be able to save the ice Nick for next turn to like tap the Titan after it attacks. I also may like uh, get to Karn for something relevant. Does Aki or Viltron come back with a vengeance once the game's dead? Yeah, that's. I was talking about that a little bit yesterday. I I, I do think to some extent that like combo decks, combo slash big mana decks, both like you know decks like Titan, decks like Anviltron, decks like Aki. Um, get a lot, lot better with, if Scam is uh, out of the metagame. Absolutely. Attack on Titan. Thoughts of the season finale? I, I really liked it. Um, I liked it a lot. I was uh, satisfied. I'm glad that I uh, waited to watch the ending instead of reading it. Opponent finds a Besaju here. I wonder if they'll Besaju by Jewel. Would we'll just put me like minus one mana. Clock with the 43. Thank you, thank you. I guess saving it for a uh, Karn target next turn is uh, going to be kind of tough for me. Finding a nimble obstructionist to counter the Besaju and like wish for a bridge could be good. Although I may be a little bit short of doing all of that. Yeah, I'm short of doing that. I did find the obstructionist though. Um, so four, we have eight mana. So why don't I just Karn for Sundering Titan? Obstructionist the Titan attack, and then they play, play Bounce Land, pick this up, let's see, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, that's enough to pack. Bridge, the problem is I know they have Besage you, and I can't Karn for Bridge and Obstructionist to Besage you. Um, I could Karn for another Ring, and then try to find, uh, like Tron... I guess I should probably, I should probably Karn for Chalice on zero, but then they just besage you that. Just block with Shark. Block their Trample Titan, like it's double strike, what are we talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? I might have to ring. The problem with ringing is like, I have to like find Tron plus Karn, or I guess I could just find another ring. Needle besage you. Um, Needle Besage is okay, but then I still, like, if they just have a Bounce Land, which they do have, they still get to Pact for another Titan. That's that's the real problem. Tough game, for sure. Um, I kind of think I just have to Karn for a second ring. Don't think that I really have the luxury of doing anything else. I'm, I'm just going to die to this uh, Teleria Western that's in play. And the goal, the goal at this point is like chain rings together slash find like Tron plus another Karn. Why not bridge? They have to they will, they will, they will just besage, they have besage you with their hand. They'll besage you the bridge. And I don't have, I, for like the third time, I don't have enough mana to Karn bridge and obstructionist to besage you. They have eight mana total. That's uh, eleven mana. Good equip with counters. It's the same number of cards, but w more damage. Maybe keeping ring with counters is a bit better for. Uh, I could also draw expedition map and like get a, the ring loop going. Do you think since appraiser is getting banned in pioneer, do you think it's worth exploring further in modern? Maybe like we did try it and it was really bad. Like, kind of simply put, the interaction in Modern plus Cheap Threats, really good. The interaction in Pioneer plus Cheap Threats, really bad. Um, I'll say this also. I'm like, I like ha straight up haven't lost to the Appraiser combo ever <laughs> in Pioneer. But I've been playing a lot of Merfolk that has, like, a lot of Cheap Threats plus Counter Spells. Why do I keep the Old Ring to dig deeper? Old Ring doesn't dig deeper. Next turn, old, next turn, Old Ring draws three cards. This draws one card, then two cards. That's three, but we take a extra, less damage. It is the same number. You can always have the impact of Yeah, this is not a, a build with upheaval. It's 
So you get another besiege you. Yeah, Titan's been so popular lately. People trying to learn it, I think, with uh, Scam likely out of the way. So they besiege you a Tron piece. I got and I I drew I, I guess I get punished for tapping the ring on my turn because I drew my last uh my last uh fetchable here. It's kind of a pain. Why do we not die? I have protection from everything via the one ring. People are gonna go from complaining about turn one scam to whining about turn two Titan. Yeah. I mean, Titan's really messed up, but there, there's a lot of like, like, so like one thing about Titan is there are like lots of sideboard cards and sideboard plans that are really stinking good against it. Uh, they, Teleri Wested for Ode of War, which is interesting. Play a ring, maybe? Are they, what are they, are they going to Ode of War, like my jewel? There's a lot of sideboard plans and cards that are really good against uh, Titan, the thing about Scam is, like, you just, like, can't have a reliable cyborg plan to have a good matchup. If you want a good matchup against Amulet Titan, you can have it, dude. You can have it. Okay, Odawara by Signet. Uh, you can't just wake up and decide, I'm going to have a good... I'm going to have a good uh, Scam matchup. You can have, like, a slightly favorable one, but you just can't... You just can't decide, oh, I'm going to be favored against it today. Um... Which I think is you know, a big part of the problem. Okay, so we have four, five, six, seven mana. I think I'll just play the other Signet to make a one-one shark obstruction as the attack trigger. Now that the TOS is out of the way, we know they we know they have a besage you in their hand. So I guess if they besage you my jewel end of turn is kind of a problem, but they don't. Still taking eight. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm gonna we're gonna take six because I'm going to. Well, I guess we'll take eight if they pump. That is uh, technically Tron, but I think my opponent will probably use the Besaidu to kill one of my Tron pieces. Maybe they won't. Another try, Jewel. Yeah, I was really distracted last time and. Uh, there was like the, all the LCQ stuff going on. It was really, really weird stream, weird day. Uh oh. They get another Titan instead of Claw. I guess they, they probably don't have enough lands for Colossus. So if I can go Karn for Sundering Titan this turn, I may be able to kill them. Oh, wait. I just am dead right now. Okay. Bummer. Um, yeah, let's bring in the Force of Negations over the Ballistas. Run it back. I don't think this is a particularly good matchup. Titan's also been very popular lately. Be interesting to see which deck plays the format. Please, after Fury goes. Yeah, it, it, it's it's going to be interesting. Um, for sure. I I have a lot of decks I've been working on that, like... i just thinking about it more. I'm like... Um... I'm just I'm just so excited to try in the new meta game, but we also like don't know what it's gonna look like. I think there's a really good chance they unban something too, which would be fun. Do you think that with a fury ban, mono green Eldrazi with eight heart could be playable? Is it too bad? Yeah, I think the power level is really low there, but it, it is true that like high arcs and stuff get a lot better. But they they're still like weak to Bowmaster, weak to Renin Six. I, I don't think you're still like very excited to play, uh, play them. But that deck was very fun for sure. What a modern pad look like after ban? It would look like Yogmoth. <laughs> it would look like Yogmoth with Birthing Pod. Yeah, Goblin and Dark Commander Storm. I, I do like that deck. Although it's not that bad against Scam. I would like to see if Gargari Grave Troll is still too good for modern. Yeah, I, I I have the philosophy that if a card ever 
if a card ever gets unbanned and has to be rebanned, it it should never come off again. <laughs> and also, like unbanning Galgar Grave Troll is it's literally just asking for trouble. You're literally just waking up and choosing violence. Is Fury confirmed? God, no, but that's uh, it, it, it's they very heavily implied it. They heavily implied it. it they, they might not ban Fury, though. Like, it's not 100%. Yeah, people will be uh, pissed, though, but people are always pissed. Okay, got Tron. Turn 3, Signet plus uh, Obstructionist up, maybe. A betting pot is probably a bad idea. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I played this with Caleb, like, two years ago at this point or something like that and it, d it didn't do that well i will say that, like the life loss the life loss in um in the, in the pot in the yogmoth pod deck was a really big cost but like like you're just paying if you're paying four to birthing pod in your yogmoth deck it can be kind of dicey If they hand Fury, just really been being stuck with Bowmaster. I mean, that is conceivably something that could happen. So we're probably Obstructionist the uh, Urza Saga Chapter 3 here, right? Is Pod even good now? I don't know. I'm <laughs> it, it, would be, it would be a card you'd almost definitely uh, try slash register in Yawgmoth, right? So they have a Besageu. Okay. So we can still obstructionist this trigger. Wow, we drew the mine. So I'm just gonna play the tower because they know I have tower in uh in hand. Yeah, a, a lot of bean lists don't play Fury, but really I, my my real prediction is that if they end up banning um if they end up banning or if scam becomes just not like a tier one deck for a while then, like, the four-color Omneth decks are just not going to be that good. Because, like, a, a, a huge part of their metagame... Like, what, the, the four-color decks are good against, like, Scam, Murktide, Hammer, um, Yawgmoth. And they're really bad against the combo decks, big mana decks. And I think people are going to be trying to play a lot of linear strategies that uh, end up being pretty good against uh, that formula. Okay, so they got three cards in their hand. Burke with the nine months. Thank you. Welcome back. So probably going to try to ice a bounce land on their upkeep. Or maybe two bounce lands now. Yeah, I think that seems like a fine, fine turn. Uh, I think I'm down. Just, I mostly just want to cycle and get to some, some action, you know. They do only have one card left in their hand. So if it's Titan, we're not in good shape. If it's just packed, get the force. Either way, we have this, uh, one ring. We have another ring for next turn. I think I'm going to go ahead and draw three. Nothing in the yard I would like to Academy Ruins right now. We could play map and sack for Odawara. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm basically never... Um, the famous last words, I guess. I'm basically never cycling this Typhoon this turn. Might hard cast it. We also have Academy Ruins plus two rings, which is pretty tough for Titan to beat. Definitely a big part of this deck's game plan is is looping rings. Yeah, I think I'll hard cast here. Play another ring, make a four four shark. Enigma Jewel. So I'm probably just going to save to pitch to a force at this point. Although, casting it and 
Flipping it doesn't seem that bad. Oh, I, I, I totally did mean to uh, <laughs> draw a card with that. I guess it's okay. Like the card on top, still have the Force of Negation up, still have protection from everything. We can Karn, Sundering, Titan, kill all of their lands next turn. I guess now we get to leave them with a crumbling vestige out of kindness. Could also mind slaver them. I think I, I think I just want to. Well, I guess if I show them mind slaver, like what can they do to play around that? Versus and and it just wins the game on the spot right now. And then I I don't know that they could play around Sundering Titan or like they would play any differently. I know Sundering Titan is like the content line or whatever, but this was probably better. Is using Nykthos to filter mana from Joel Tube into Sauce. I was playing it in Pioneer and had some like really busted starts with it. I don't know that it's something you could do in Modern. I've like started to think about it a little bit and um, we'll continue to think about it a little bit. Okay, interesting hand. I'm definitely going to keep. Um, a little bit unclear if I should lead on Enigma Jewel or Tron. Probably, probably try to lead on Tron. Do you ever craft with the Jewel? Is there good synergy with the side? Um... Sometimes you do. Like it's 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 mostly just good to turn it into into a ring. You can also turn it into a card, and then two turns later you can like you can go plus card plus card. Um, or you you go, you go plus card, and then that ability is copied. So you get two you get two loyalty. No, you don't get two loyalty because it's a cost. But then when you minus, you get two cards, which is kind of interesting. But it it is nice to have access to like this if you're flooding out. Um, this deck does have a lot of mana sources, so it's nice that one of your mana sources is a. Uh, Mana sink like that, right? Should Tron is crazy. Yeah, I, I, I started the stream kind of late today, so I figured I was already like 20 minutes late. Let's not waste time getting the arts together. Does seem like they don't have an amazing start here. I don't know, maybe, maybe we still get turn three tightened. Seems like it's unlikely though. And I don't have a Torp Orb in the sideboard, although maybe I should have one with this deck being so popular. But a coding also will stop when they get a Besage you. Interesting. Well, what, I guess what's nice about them getting Besage you is I, I do have. It urges tower and it urges mine in my hand, so. And they also don't necessarily. Have, we haven't seen it. They don't have any green mana right now. That means. Yeah, they, they're, and they're one mana short of Titan, so. I guess they're just going to besage you, me, make a construct, and then they'll have Titan mana next turn. Alright, so I'm still going to grab power plants. Get a tap steam vents. Main phase makes a construct. It's a vibe. Don't have a lot going on. They just have to hope they. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't do really anything besides hope. I think these games where they just have besage you into Titan on the play are really, really gonna be tough. But next turn we do, you know, we do have Karn plus at least four mana, four plus like the Enigma Jewel, which is not going to be that relevant. And they're making a construct, which is great news. It's unlikely that they're going to tighten me, but I mean they they could. They need, would need a Grazer or Azusa. Dryad is also not enough, right? Or is Dryad enough with two amulets? No, it's just plus one mana. Spelunking. Um, even if they draw tight enough this, they would need something else still. Just also plus one mana, and they put Sun Home into play. And then they play Grazer, still not enough for Titan. So this is the one unknown card, just a bounce it in hand there. 
in top deck Titan mode. So we take four down to 16. We draw another copy of Karn, which is interesting. Um, and I play the wrong Tron piece, which is very awkward. But I guess what's kind of nice about this is I was mostly just going to go Karn for explosives anyways. And I could pop it with the jewel. And so this doesn't... I don't think this really changes my line. I guess I would be able to, like, T Typhoon or Odawara. Okay, that was the one we knew about. So they're gonna... Can they pick... Are they gonna pick up Odawara here, maybe? I mean, I, I would think that if they had Titan, they would have they would have already freaking used it. So they're gonna Odawara their Spelunking. Odawara Karn, Odawara Karn. Okay, we'll just do this now. Now it's gonna look like I got very lucky and drew the Urza's Mine. Nobody tell them. Do I have enough to uh, Mind Slaver? So I have six, eight, four plus six, 10, 11, 12, 13. So one mana short. So I kind of like getting coding, and then if we just coding whatever land they play, I guess if it's just an untapped land, they could still tighten. No, I only have one explosives. Two explosives would be kind of weird, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree that another one would be very good here. I could, I, I guess I could go Karn for... Can I go Karn for Tormod script, Karn for explosives, pop explosives? I think I can. Should be able to. Karn, Crypt, Zero, Pop, Karn, Explosive. Yeah, all right, let's do that. It's a fun line. We'll lose our uh, Enigma Jewel. Use the floating mana. Karn, second coding Karn. Well, I wanted to use Karn on the bounce land that they play um, in response to the bounce trigger. I don't, I don't want to actually kill the land in play. Anonymous with the 20 months. Thank you. Welcome back. My opponent says, Why that? I have Splunking. I don't know. I, I don't really like what people ask you about Spike or, or opponent. Why did you miss playing? <laughs> Just take your turn. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was a mistake, huh? Anonymous, 20 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay, so we have... Play the Academy Ruins. I guess I'm a little... Am I short of being able to replay Titan? Yeah, no, I have... Eight. Yeah, I have one short, actually. Yeah, so we don't do it this turn. It was good. Yeah, I I feel like the E was the E line was totally fine. Cause I could put Zerda in my hand pretty freely. I, I don't think it really matters. I'm just holding up Typhoon slash Odawara, and then uh, then we get to do the loop. Cause you can find Besage you. Did they drop Besage you? They did draw it. So I think I just put it back in the deck. 
Or I guess I just keep it on. I keep it on top. Well, if I shuffle it away, yeah, I think we just say no. But if I, I could, I could, I could, I could get a uh, island and then. Um, And Titan, or sorry, I could get Island and uh, Shark Typhoon. Okay, and then I don't think I'm carning for anything right now. I think I will just put a Benamo into play. I think you make Amulet of Creatures so that if you find like. Dried Valak and somehow you could kill it. It just doesn't really matter very much overall. There's a Dryad. Still nothing we can do, right? Could uptick Amulet Crash into Shark. That's that's true, yeah. But with Splunking, like, the Amulet doesn't really do anything anyways. Oh, shit. I should have played Dryad so I could Sundering Titan them. Another misplay for my opponent to tell me I made. Yeah, I know I saw it just a second too late. Kind of just want to get Cityscape Leveler. And then I, if I can play Maze Mind Tome and then keep up Oda War, but I can't activate it. Kill Amulet instead of Splunking, because if they get another Amulet, it's useful, but another Splunking isn't, right? Huge blister. I think I like the leveler gets them off the their dryad and their splunking and stuff. Alright, feeling pretty good with this uh Obstructionist. Yeah, them drawing the Besage in that one turn is pretty tough for sure. We'll get him dead next turn with the uh, the shark. Uh, yeah, they, they had Splunking, so the, the Bounce Land can enter uh, untapped. Yeah, long match one for sure. The combo utility. It's mostly a, it's mostly a tap soul ring is the goal of it in this deck. Like it, it, you filter the mana that's only for artifact or only for abilities through signets, sack expedition maps, sink it into obstruction, is equal to shark typhoon. Um okay, so we're on six. We can play a turn two Enigma Jewel on the play with with multiple good things to do with it. I think this is probably a pretty reasonable keep. I think I'm either putting back the second shark or the fire ice. I think I'll put back second shark. Consider elixir as a current target. Well, I think we're kind of like, I really want to have these force of negations in the sideboard because a lot of times you want to cut your ballistas for them, I think. Um, elixir is also like kind of medium, but. I, I think I think it would probably come up a little bit more than I would expect it to. I I agree. Affinity, Affinity and Titan is just so popular lately. Might uh fire two midmites next turn. We'll see if they what they do. Yeah, I'm mean, just like getting the minus two artifacts is so crazy. It does like delay my my jeweling or whatever. That's a curse totem over needle to cover cauldron. To cover cauldron, um, cover cauldron's kind of funny, right? Because like, if you're going to carn for one of these things, your card already turns off the cauldron. So I guess I'm a little bit confused on on that part of the thought. Um, I, I I think you you also you also need needle. Like you want to needle besage you. You want to needle red and six. You want to needle uh, to fairy sometimes. You want to needle um, a, a lot of different stuff. Uh, you could also play a curse totem, but I don't think I don't think you can cut needle for it. <laughs> yeah, all, all the bean decks play up the beanstalk, of course. 
Um, yeah, so I'm going to play the jewel, I think, this turn. Play a power plant pass. You see tutors predicts culture and be banned within two years. I didn't see that. I mean, banned predictions are mostly like just just uh, posted. You know what I mean? I I I don't really feel like it's you know that likely to get banned, but it is it is a really good card and like it could it's gonna get better over time probably. Um, I think it has a lot of counterplay to it for whatever that's worth. Let's see, they have one, two, three, four artifacts, so they can't. Uh, can't play any of their affinity stuff right now. Probably should name Karn, although if I draw Karn, it'll still be good. There, and there's there's a lot of like there's a lot of ways to play against Cauldron too. Cauldron with Vandifar, nah. It's like you just there's so many good cards that work with Cauldron that there's not a lot of reason to play the shitty ones. <laughs> Wait, what? My trash button doesn't work. Problem machine to Ryu is. It's trash. Wait, how did they do this? Frog my companion. I they didn't have enough mana. I guess, I guess the frog might gave them... It was plus two mana. Okay. I think we're not blisting this turn. Just gonna hold up our mana. Can make a 4-4 four, four shark. We got two cards in their hand. Like, if you're gonna build a... a, a a collagen deck around a four mana creature. Yogmoth is just so much better. So if I I can maybe obstructionist the draw trigger, is that too loose? It's probably a little too loose. Problem is my shark is only a four four here, and if they equip onto the frog might, I'm like not really advancing that much. We played Urza and Cauldron together. That was like the first draft of our... Mon <laughs> Into another one, dude. Okay, now I see why people play Bean in this deck. Into Saga. Yeah, so we'll make a 2-2 Shark and trade here, I guess. Could I guess I could have done this also pre-combat and like iced here. Although... Yeah, I think that would have been a bit better. Let's see, do I want to island cycle? Pro probably do. If I draw a ring, I'll be kind of happy to have like the land in play. Although I guess I have um, like the jewel mana for that anyways, maybe. Maze Mind Tome, okay. So probably just play 2-2 two, two Ballista. Nimble Obstructionist, the Saga's ability to make a token. Block whatever has the uh, uh, Cranial Plating on it, and then hope to draw out of this. Find a Karn, mostly. Or I guess, maybe it has to be Ring. I don't know if Karn has, is fast enough. No, the Jewel is definitely not enough. Draw land next turn. I guess we can like draw off the tome with ring. Yeah, they should have left it on the frog mite because I get to now block this, kill the frog mite, take eight. Instant attach. Oh, right. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. I think. Be a yeah. It'll kill me. Okay. Timers, everything I wish Obstructionist was. Yeah, it is funny they printed Tidebinder in also the same set. Like, Jewel makes Obstructionist a lot better, but I do agree. I think we're just running it back. Could, Force of Negation is not, like, that unappealing. Do you think they designed Image 3 with Fury, Grief, etc. being in Legal of Mind? I would imagine so, yeah. Like, when when I did Lord of the Rings, like, so much of, so much of like, my and Canister's thought process on cards, like, w w was, like, in the context of Lurus. Like, like Forge Anew was a card that we thought would be good in Hammer, but Lurus was still legal, and so we're like, is this, like, maybe this is a good card to print because it incentivizes you to not play Lurus. Um, and, like, Lur Lurus was, like, such a format warping card. It, like, really, like, skews stuff. And uh, in the same way, like, you're also going to get your uh, mind skewed. Um... Natural Tron, obviously nice. 
your mind skewed when it comes to the incarnations. Tome looks slow. Uh, yeah, Tome is a pretty slow card. I think I like the first copy. I, I know it didn't like win us the game there, but <laughs> we were pretty behind. I feel like their like their series of draws was kind of crazy too. Them going like I don't know, <laughs> just like chaining chaining companions with being in play is pretty crazy. It's pretty good. Okay, so my Karn is. Gonna be very tough for them to beat here. I think I get a Ballista. I can block the Patchwork for a turn and then ping the Might. Try to Mono Blue build of AQ with the Digma Jewel. I, I, at the, I haven't tried it. At the moment, I think you're a little bit short of mana sinks for jewel not not super short, but a, a little bit short for jewel to be really good. But I, I am excited about jewel like. The crafting being more relevant in that deck also. Um, so I, I, I am working on it, but I haven't really figured out a 75 that's like right for the stream yet, I think. Um, Worm Coil seems unbeatable, which is good. I guess they could have Metallic Rebuke. We'll just get to play a game of Magic if they have it. David with the 29 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Impressive. So I guess they're going to try to get this big enough to trade for the Worm Coil. Your turn. Is it good to obstructionist this? Seems fine too. We still have uh we still have Karn protected. It does seem like maybe making some big constructs could be tricky. Can they chain a bunch of companions together? Another Urza saga. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm really tempted to obstructionist this because I think that they have a companion in their hand they need this mana for. Ooh. But I, I lose my Karn if I, if I do that. We'll just let this go. Seems okay. Pizza with the 33 months. Thank you. Thank you. Why Nimble Up over Tidebinder? Because you can sink your Enigma Jewel into Nimble Obstructionist. You can't sink your Enigma Jewel into Tidebinder. They do name Karn. Man, they're really fighting through here. Commendable. They probably should have attacked first. I guess if I fire this, I, I should have fired. I should have fired this in response to the, the saga, so they couldn't cast this this turn. Duh. Draw another Karn. I have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana potentially. Could go Typhoon into Karn. Could cycle Obstructionist on the Saga. And then make a, how big of a shark? One, two, three, then seven. Seven, eight, six, six shark. Guess let's do that. Be it's kinda sick if they like needled Nimble Obstructionist here. So 
So counter, yeah, counter the ability to make a construct. Although I guess they 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 likely wouldn't have the mana to. They would need a like non artifact land. But I, I also don't think there's almost anything that they could get off this that we really are scared of. That food eventually gets you out of here, or leave me my, I, I don't I, I don't I'm not really worried about the situation. I don't I don't feel like I'm in like a getting out of here kind of position. You know what I mean? I guess if they needle Shark Typhoon, it's kind of a problem though. They need a walking ballista. I don't. I, I don't currently feel like I'm behind. Maybe they could go kind of crazy with the uh, the beanstalk. This deck definitely gets a lot better if like Bowmaster is less popular because Scam is not popular. Island for Typhoon Hardcast Revealed. I mean, I think they're going to send both at my Karn here, so I want to be able to just cycle and chomp up the Mirror Enforcer trade front half of Worm Coil for the big patchy. I guess I could just place backup Karn also, but it's kind of it's kind of a pain for them to get to like equip the Cranio Planning. Maybe they get to cast more spells because we unlocked the Drum in the Citadel. Although this turn I think I'm down for hard cast day food into Lorien Revealed. I have enough mana for that, right? So floated one mana. Yeah, I have Exaxes. Oh boy. Is there a particular reason we're playing Demir Signet when Azuri Signet self caster? We, we are playing Azuri Signet now. We had Demir Signet earlier. I thought that I updated the Moxfield. I guess I didn't. Or are we playing it? Yeah, it, maybe I joined the league with Demir Signet or something on accident because I, I we had dismembers earlier, but I, I I did make the change at some point. I don't know if the why you're under that impression. Not even a Karn plus. There's a needle on Karn. Double Beanstalk, okay, let's go. Cast your deck. Kind of impressive how well they've done through like the Stony Silence. Almost makes me feel bad. Just make a couple sharks this turn. Beanfinity might give me back to bar. Yeah, people are really hyped about this Beanfinity deck for sure. Get your turn. They're going off. <laughs> They're going off. Yeah, that is so cold the Bowmaster for sure. Which is the problem with it. For, if 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 Bowmaster gets banned on on Monday, Beanfinity's like we're all over it for sure. But it'd be weird if they banned Bowmaster didn't ban Bean or and or Ring. Is it not expected being against the axe? I think most people expect just Fury to get banned. Um, that's kind of where I'm at too. But anything could happen. Like this is just kind of what we are we're reading between the lines, trying to interpret the tea leaves. Don't actually know what's gonna happen. Don't bring in force. I I do I feel like forcing a cranial plating or a bean on the draw is probably pretty nice. It does seem like obstructionist is also like kind of medium in the matchup. It's kinda of good against Saga. Not a lot else. Thomas probably a little slow on the draw too. So 
on the draw. I like that we have the fours. Uh, I think at the blind I'd mulligan. I think against I guess an affi- being infinity opponent mulling to six. I'm, I might keep this one. I'll try it. Tapped bridge. All right, this hand is actually very good. Thank you, expedition map. How's Jewel been forming? It's it's I, what I really like about it in this deck is that you just have a big range of hands that either have Jewel in it or hands that um. I guess I'm forcing that. Hands that have jewel or hands that have uh, have Tron, and you can you can mulligan a lot more aggressively for a powerful mana hand than you could with um, other versions of Blue Tron. And then the jewel also works well with Nimble Obstructionist and Typhoon, two cards that you already kind of want to play in this archetype, anyways. Mine tower or PowerPoint tower. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to ping the ping the frog might dead right now, reduce their affinity, and then keep the ballista in play. Maybe I'll find another signet or my steam vents and be able to um, Zerda plus ballista this game. Could also just like double pump. I think I think we'll probably end up like typhooning instead. Uh, okay, so I can go. I have nine mana, which is not enough to double pump ballista and fire. I think I'm gonna put Zerda into my hand and then make a shark. Maybe Odawar that next turn. Can't quite cast this. Any signet, Lord revealed, or the steam vents lets me cast it though. And so you, you kind of, we're kind of also putting ourselves in the spot where, like those mana sources and big spells are both pretty good draws. Probably should play a thought monitor before companion here, right? I guess just gives you more decision points. This is this is getting kind of scary though. I I really don't like that I. So four. I'm only making a four four shark. But I think I still will. I get to chomp up this uh thought monitor's turn. I get to dig for action slash mana for Zerda. I get to at least trade for one of the companions next turn, worst case scenario. Just don't really have that many bad draws. Like even a tra- a tower just lets me pump it still a lot. Ring is nice. I'll just slam that. Enigma Jewel. Fire the Thought Monitor. Play the Jewel. Or to War of the Saga, I think. Instead of Pump Ballista one time. Get in for four. Yeah, I could I guess Oda War Ring, Bounce Ring next turn, but... Bouncing the Saga is also pretty nice. What is it? It makes you bring the deck. Your, your goal is a Nimble Jewel to be like a tap Soul Ring. And so with the Signets, Nimble Obstructionist. Uh, ooh, oh, rough. Um, Nimble Obstructionist, Signets, Shark Typhoon. It, it, it does feel like that. Expedition Map also does feel like that a lot of the time. So you, you mostly want to have a hand that either has Tron, Enigma Jewel, or like Signet into... Okay, so I guess we're going to go for Zerda here. Signet into uh, Ring. Zerda time. Put a counter. Put a counter. So they have a 5-5 five, five to block, 4-4 four, four to block. Just trying to think if I should get in or not. I think I can. I think I'll attack with my shark. Yeah. Yeah, we could craft jewel. We just we don't really have anything good to craft on it yet. So I think just this is one blister activation. A turn is fine for now. 
Good to double triggers eventually make me blister. No, it's this isn't good to double triggers. Or I guess I guess we may craft it for the I don't know. You 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 mostly just want to like make this a tap soul ring. You will craft occasionally. <laughs> is it better? Is it better? It, it it may be better to craft here though. Okay, so if we craft, it is. It's only seven mana because we have Zerda, so we would do. Tap the jewel. This is a craft. And then double blister, double blister, double blister, double blister. So that's four, four, <laughs> eight, ten. Versus just going. Yeah, I, I guess that is better, huh? Fine, chat, you win. You craft the Adigma jewel. Oh, I need to I need to tap the signet though. Well, I guess I make, this actually makes a little bit more mana because I get to uh, tap it for the signet, right? I'm not gonna expedition map probably. I don't know if that gives me one more activation or not. It just depends if it's even or odd, right? All right, so this doubles the ability here. Big lefty, 17 months. Thank you, thank you. Fine, you craft, you craft it. <laughs> oh, this also doubles the ballista ping, guys. This is super lethal. Cool. We would, we would have, a uh, yeah, we have 12 counters, but each, each, each ping is also doubled with the jewel. Thank you, Zerd. Like, shit's about to change. It's, like, it's like, always so tough to have streams, like, right before either set release or ban announcement, but I'm excited about this one. Yeah, it doubles, it doubles pings also. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wish I really wish I was on the play, but we do have, you know, Tron... Would there be a four color bean deck without fury? Yeah, people li there's people literally already do that. There are plenty of builds, but I, I think I think beans likely gets worse if because scam police is a lot of like the combo decks, big mana decks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, and, and like these kind of decks also get a lot better when scam is nerfed or out of the format. Format is very alive. They shouldn't ban anything. This is a pretty reasonable take. I don't think modern's uh, awful at the moment. I do think I'm so sick of this. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. I, I think that it is like largely a consideration to people really are sick of the of, of beanstalk, and they're sick. They're sick of um, sick of beanstalk and sick of scam. Sick of like and like the the play patterns against these decks is like truly miserable. <laughs> you are like it is very. Very, very miserable these these uh these play patterns. Um I think it's about time for a change. It's okay, it's fine to have different opinions. Yeah, it is it I, I really don't like that they're changing Pioneer like like, a, like not even two weeks, like a week and a half. I guess a, I guess like a li like ten days before eleven days before the uh the, the RC. It's such a pain. So a hard matchup to Mulligan in. I like that we have Ballista for Ragavan. I'm gonna keep. Maybe I should be Mulliganing more aggressively, right? But because that's kind of what I wanted to do today. But I think his hand is like keepable on the play. We have Islands against Blood Moon. Appraiser's miserable play against. Yeah, I I I believe it. It's also been like like two weeks or something since people have been playing the deck. Like the meta has not really. Had much chance to play, you know, play against. I don't know. It's okay. It's, it is what it is. Being sucks okay. It's the image two free evoke buddies that make it terrible. Splinter Twin is okay. It's Deceiver Arc that makes it terrible. Uh, Field of the Dead is okay. It's all the lands you play with Field of the Dead that make it unbearable. <laughs> Arkham's Astrolabe is okay. It's just the fetch lands that make it unbearable. Mystic Sanctuary is okay. It's just the fetch lands that make it unbearable. <laughs> Grief scam is okay. It's just it's just feign death and undying evil that make it unbearable. I think, I think you could more or less make this kind of 
statement about any any card that has ever been banned. There's like all cards are mo most cards are banned because they're good with other cards. Not, most things are not Oko. Ben Fetches, I agree. I mean, like, kind of base, but also not. You know, it's just too late. Birthing Pot is okay, but it's all the little creatures. You know, it's just like. Like, like to some extent, like. Sol Sol Solitude, I, th I think, was like perfect power level, like right on the mark. Very good card for modern until up the Beanstalk. I think with Beanstalk, it's a lot more problematic. Um, with Beanstalk, I think it's a lot more problematic. And so it's like... Okay, they don't have a scam. Uh, see, yeah, see, without it's fine. Although they do have Blood Moon. Just a Bone Crusher. Um... And like with with beanstalk, I think it's problematic. I I really I really feel like pre. Uh, let's bottom this. I again I I just want to get scries with the bowmaster in play for now. Bottom that. Take a draw. But I agree with with bowmaster. It's kind of problematic. So we can play Zerda through Blood Moon. <laughs> Pretty easy. We're also like, I, okay, I guess yes. With this ring, we're like in the life gain from Tome. We're doing pretty good to race here, I think. McClough with the forty-two months. Hope you're doing well. Looking for like a ballista, maybe. I'm gonna bottom that into like into the Bowmasters. Uh, interesting draw. Feel, it does feel like... Still playing ring. I'm still going to draw a card. Main phase. We have a lot of one mana spells. Or some, some one mana spells, rather. We're at 20. They're at 7. We have pro everything. I'm feeling pretty good. You just cast Zerda this turn, maybe not do anything else. Um, I can't Odawara and Obstructionist. I think if I hit with the shark, there's like basically no world where I don't want an Obstructionist, so I could just have Lethal up. Is there any world where I'd like need the Odawara? See, they have eight. If they Bowmaster, I go down to eighteen. Then they're attacking me with a dashed ragavan also, so they have I'm mean, at eighteen and they have four they have twelve damage. I go down to six, go down to five, and they bolt me, I'm still at two. So I'm I'm mostly just trying to figure out is should I is it should I put Zerda into my hand? But I guess Zerda doesn't really do anything here, so let's let's not. Three cards over there. Bounce Moon plus Nimble. That's kind of an interesting thought. I know they have two cards. It's very hard to imagine they they could kill both of my creatures here, but. You never know, I guess. Okay, going to game three. I think the obstructionists, they're okay. They stop the undying effects. They um, they can be flashed into block. They can stop fetches. They can stop uh, fable triggers. They're kind of slow on the draw. Tome is also kind of slow on the draw. I think I'm just going to play it, bring in like two forces. I'm going to force Blood Moon. Force like turn one to Fury can be kind of good too. Maybe should have three on the draw. Just like any interactive spell on the draw can be nice. I have it, though. 
Yeah, let's keep this. I can have turn two fire ice available with Lauren revealed for steam bins. I also have signet for the fire. I would love to see turn one fury here, obviously. Um, all the fire ices. Yeah, this is okay. We get to go. We get to take a hit from Ragavan, or have to take a hit from Ragavan. Um, then we get to Lauren revealed for steam vents. It's a little awkward against the Blood Moon deck, but we have Signet for blue mana. It's also, fire into Signet, fire slash ice. Kind of hoping that they have a Bowmaster so I can kill two things. Yeah, Blood Moon will force Blood Moon. Yeah, so still still planning to fire the Ragavan into Signet Fire. Realize that for quick said, yeah, you're the only one unbreakable to realize. <laughs> Everyone else has been asking the same thing. Five cards in their hand. Okay, I don't mind this Thoughtseize so much. Kind of surprised my opponent would cast Thoughtsies after attacking with Dothy Voidwalker in this matchup. They take one of my Fire Ices. They play another Ragavan, which is a problem. Hopefully a problem we can solve with the top of my library. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to fire the the Voidwalker instead of the Ragavan. It's more damage, and Zerda can block Ragavan. Shark Typhoon can block Ragavan. We have a lot more answers to Ragavan than Voidwalker. Ragavan can cast stuff from the top of my deck, though. They just cast a Grief. So I lose the Force, and we are uh, hoping to top deck particularly well, I guess. Don't think I would qualify Power Plant as particularly good cop deck. Blista would be good. I could kill both my opponent's creatures, although I wouldn't be able to also like get the Zerda Blista stuff going. Is it Signet's kind of a funny hit? Okay, well. Gotta draw something. I so I don't have to draw something. Could lose the game. Kind of hard for them to have nothing, but that's about all we can beat. Discard just Ragavan. We draw Karn for Bridge, we could win. Assuming that. Yeah, we're actually still 2 now. Okay, up against the Gigantha. I'm gonna mulligan this, I think. Although, I don't know. Okay, so Gigantha is either like cheap Ra Ragavan deck, which his hand is kind of nice against because we have four fire, three fire eyes, or it's a Tron deck, which we might, we, so we're pretty likely to, to have a turn three card on the play. Yeah, so, so I think I think against uh, not Gigantha I Mulligan and against Gigantha we keep because it's it should just be good against like whatever Gigantha deck they are. Fury isn't as problematic as Grief and Bowmasters. Yeah, it, it it is. The people who like are really like Bowmaster needs to be banned. Bowmaster is the problem. They may be like very ahead of the time. I think I think Bowmasters is like overall very positive for modern. It is. Um, it is it is a card that like keeps Ragavan in check, up the Beanstalk in check, One Ring in check. Um, it is like I, I think I think the biggest problem with it is that it's not actively bad in many matchups, but it is it is bad against like Rhinos. It's bad against Burn. Um, it's like pretty mediocre against Yogmoth, although Yogmoth plays Bowmasters. It's okay against Yogmoth. It's yeah. 
It's not great. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I think it's too early to ban Bowmasters. I'll say this too. Like, the, like before Bowmasters, Ragavan was this card that's like... That's like such a big problem. It's a big headache. And now people just like don't really... Don't really mind it so much, I feel. It's like oh, very much kept in check, I think. How's the bad versus burn? Blocks of creatures? Is two mana chump block two creatures is good? I, I, I don't know. It's I, I'd say Bowmasters is not very good against burn. So it's not... It, it, you can cast it, it does stuff. <laughs> I think Grief and our Beanstalk most likely bans. I mean, that's what I wanted to happen last time. Ban, Beanstalk, ban, Grief. I've kind of come, in, come around a little bit, but... So they're not Scam. They're playing Gigantha. They're maybe trying to figure out what Rakdos looks like post... post uh, ban. Something I thought about doing today. They might ban Urza Saga. That would be the most random shit ever. Which, again, is is like... On the table for wizards. I'm I'm not gonna uh, ice. I think it plays maybe into Bowmaster a little bit too much. Keeping up fire uh, plays well against uh, Fable slash Ragavan. Can we? Yeah, it could be Jund. Imagine they just ban Urza Saga and do nothing else. It'd be just so random. Well, Shadow looking pretty good, huh? Sure, it's taken a long time to get to my turn, though. I guess I don't cycle Lauren revealed so that they can't drown my Karn. Well, I guess with this draw, why don't we just go for Ice, Death Shadow, um... Fire Bowmaster if they play Bowmaster in response and then just chill. Fire Ice is so good. Maybe this is the card that gets banned. No changes. No changes would be so funny. Like, the only reason people are so hyped is because they did a whole stream talking about what they were going to do and said there were changes coming or you can expect changes. They, but they, they didn't say they, they didn't say changes were happening. They said, you can expect changes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're expecting them. That doesn't mean they're coming. <laughs> so I'll take my car and I, I'm assuming, unless I don't realize I have Tron. Yeah, it would be very funny if there were no changes on Monday. And then we all get to watch me do Twitch Rivals on Monday. Uh. <laughs> okay, takes the card. Okay. This guy's Zerda in hand, right? What I, I don't have a blast zone. Can cast the Zerda also. Merc with Switch Prime. Thank you. Welcome back. Yeah, Switch Rivals is standard, I'm pretty sure. It's standard on Arena Mobile. They sent me a phone to play, but you'll it, you won't I won't just be holding it to the webcam. Uh I think. I'm doing a tech setup thing today. Uh, it'll be an experience for sure. Please watch, I'm begging. Uh, taking eight here, so we can map for Odawara, I guess. And can't also play the jewel. Yeah, they actually mailed me a phone, and the carrier on it was, like, really cool. You guys don't have phones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I guess not really any reason to sack the map now, right? Cosk with 21. Thank you. Welcome back. So map for Odawara. Hope to uh, draw something. Thank you, Zerda, for trading with the Drown in the Lock. I sure could not beat that card. Ballista would have been the best draw by a lot, so thank you, Ragavan, for taking that for me. Thank you, Ragavan. Very cool. They don't even bother casting it. I draw another expedition map, which cannot get me out of this situation. I can craft the Enigma Jewel with none of, with that not being relevant. Okay, we go to game two. Bummer. Doesn't craft jewel allow us to Karn? It doesn't allow us to minus Karn. It allows us to plus. We don't have two loyalty on the jewel. Wait, but I could I plus the could I oh could I have played Jewel crafted into Karn and then plussed on the expedition map? It's so annoying. I think I had exactly enough. Yeah, with a signet. This is a hard deck. Hard deck. We'll do it. <laughs> We're learning. I was thinking, I was thinking the Karn plus didn't do anything. Yeah, I do. I, I agree. I think we had enough mana. Um, okay, we can keep this. Not sure what I'm putting back. Probably Fire Ice. We have to go turn one jewel, turn two, play map, hold up obstructionist, or we can or we can play uh Ballistic Kill Ragavan. Yeah, I did double check Zerda's ability, but it's just uh Random stapled on <laughs> target creature can't block. And using the never ban leyline binding. I don't know. I mean, binding is really good. I don't. I don't really think it makes a lot of sense to ban it at the moment. It is a card a lot of people hate for sure. Z's. Chandler's uh, site for sore eyes here. Signet would be a good draw. It's an interesting pickup also. Hoping they just like start by cracking a fetch and I get two obstruction instead, of course. A little bit less happy about this, I guess. Could just get steam vents. I think that's correct since I can go fire plus obstructionist next turn. Then finding delirium here is uh, pretty bad for me though. I wonder what they name Karn maybe. The name Ballista. It's pretty annoying. Every day. <laughs> Every day. We're working for it, huh? All right, so counter their fetch, draw two cards, ice their land, draw hers is mine. It's a bolt meme. Down to nine? It's not a very high number. Untapped for a spell pierce also. Feeling pretty dead. Sure wish my opponent would not just be stopped on my upkeep also every turn. 
Play this with the ability to pay for spell pierce. Wait, they sh oh, I guess they just shocked because they're a shadow deck, huh? Yeah, there's there's no uh, ETB trigger to obstructionist on the needle. The bowmaster, my ballista, attack me down to six. So I guess we're gonna scry with this maze mind tome instead of draw. Sure, wish I could ballista the bowmaster. <laughs> Mulligan. Ah. This was uh, any other land almost. Okay, I'm gonna keep this on five. I'm gonna put back Islands, Lauren revealed probably. Does Awak get better with Fury gone? Yeah, dude, eight whack gets better with Fury gone. <laughs> I think it might get better with Fury gone. I'll have to run the. I might. I might crunch the numbers. Okay, let's wait and not play in a spell pierce. I might have to crunch the numbers if eight whack gets better with Fury gone. But I'm. I'm thinking that it might. <laughs> I think it probably won't get worse. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, I think it's just Zerda in hand here. Don't necessarily play card into this open mana. I'll keep the uh, Obstructionist up. Okay, pretty good thought sees. Should, would you be able to make a video with Dexter Better Worse with the possible bans coming? I, I'll make that video, like, after the bans come out, you know what I mean? I think this, like, pre-video where I have to analyze every possible outcome. I have to, I have to Doctor Strange every possible timeline uh, for what the bans could be. And then, and then make a video about it instead of just waiting until Monday to, like, actually know what the bans are. It doesn't really make any sense. Okay, found another Karn. Karn four, Ballista seems okay. We could map for Academy Ruins too later. We could also just map for like another tower right now. Yeah, because I don't love Karn for Ballista. Karn for Bridge is maybe like. Can I lose if I Karn for Bridge? I don't know. Doesn't seem like I'm likely to lose. I was talking about a shadow yesterday. Uh, I got kind of bored, and then we ended up playing a lot of other stuff. It was fine. I've just played too many, too many blue decks lately. Imagine me saying this, <laughs> saying this three years ago. All right, so we can cast the Zerda next turn if we map for our Steam Vents. Why does Zerda have a non-mana clause? Maybe you can be better. I don't know. Can't make it. cards good. People get mad. If you get the axe, maybe Ice Fang is a little better. Maybe. It doesn't get worse. Yeah, still not great against. Maybe Chris before I plays. Yeah, I'm just. I know you're just teasing you. 
yeah, like a a does get a lot better. AWAC's a pretty like reasonable deck already. Like, yeah, I don't know if you want to play Stalker and AWAC or not. It's, it is kind of like a slower card for that kind of strategy. Just a bit of banter, though, you know. Um. Okay, I love that they countered that. Grab a coding here. Yeah, countering Zerd is pretty funny. Okay, sure. So I guess I... I'll just cast the Obstructionist, but I, I could... It's funny, I could Obstructionist this and the Bowmaster doesn't trigger because Dressdown's in play. But I'll just I'll just get empty-handed against the 1-1, one, one, you know what I mean? And there's just like... I just I, I think I think it's highly unlikely they can they can get up for, out from underneath the bridge. I guess they could have Odawara. That would be I guess so maybe I'll needle Odawara next turn. Maybe I should have needled Odawara this turn. Uh oh. Far out, far out. Does Boros convoke a bear free right now? <laughs> yeah, any any deck with cheap creatures. It ain't it ain't gonna get worse, I tell you what. Uh, okay. Tie binder concede. I'll take that, and I will take this deck to game. Yeah, I love those Imperosaur decks too. Ugh, those Imperosaur decks are so fun. Yeah, Fury's good against everybody's pet deck, so Modern will be very fun for a while. Everybody will to play all this stuff. Goblin grenades, lava tongue, stalker, and exchange for one drop. Slightly so which can hurt. Yeah, I, I updated the anvil list too, which is like tentatively the backup deck for today. I tried for a long time to find like a cauldron goblin deck, but there's just like no payoff I thought I really was interested in. Elves will still be unplayable. Probably, I don't know. Like elves is like Elves is a powerful deck that is very, very good against linear strategies. Like it's it's very fast and has a lot of great sideboard cards you can cord for and there there's a lot to like about like the elves archetype, but I, I agree that it is not going to be a good deck for a tournament anytime soon. No, Hotmaster still stays unplayable, unfortunately. Why you play a Maze Montoma or Bankbuster? Yeah, you care like way more about the extra card, the ability to scry in the Bowmaster metagame, and the life gain over like being able to like attack for four on turn six in this deck. Is this, is this thought season? Okay, just, just one Shadow. Reasonable. Thoughts of Merfolk. Merfolk's a great deck. It's currently a great deck. Even a, it's a very good deck in the even in the Fury metagame. Just like has been consistently the best tribe for a long time and continues to be the best tribe type. I don't know the, the whole tribal tribal thing is tough because like the tribal is like a keyworded word. Like it's a card type. It's like so like it's so like burned into my brain because of that. I feel like they need to like eradicate that into be typo or something. If I do get uh when to say a typo instead. Not the most serious conversation ever. Kindred. Kindred is kinda nice. Kindred deck. Tribal's no longer a card type. Oh, it is kindred now. Okay, well sick. This happens a lot where I'm like, man, I wish Wizards would do this, and they just, like, literally already have. <laughs> okay, if we were on the play this game... Things may have been different. If we draw Urza's power plant, things may be different. Yeah, ty yeah kin Kindred, I think, is way better than Typo. With Fury gone to scan become black mid mid range again, will that be good enough for new meta? Um, yeah, so like black mid range decks will still exist. Do they? I, I've been kind of working on like some lists, what they may look like. They, you can still play like DRC Channeler builds. I think Questing Druid is an interesting card to splash for, like the uh, the deck tech we saw the other day. Um, you can you 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 can you can go a lot of different directions with it. You can play just mono black, no coffers. You can play mono black coffers. You can play death shadow. You can just play Merktide, which is like 
maybe going to be the better mid-range disruptive at Ragavan deck anyways. You can play... You can kind of just do whatever you want. And and you can play like the Obosh builds. There's there's going to be a lot of a lot of potential different ways that this this will shake up. So plan start looping rings, I guess, which is not a very good plan against the counterspell bow master deck, but will black white scan be a thing? Uh people will try it. The, the problem is like Solitude is just like such a like slow reactive card instead of like I'm just gonna scam a double striking four four into play, that you're gonna be a lot you're gonna be like have a much harder time pressuring decks like scam does, in a way that like your match like in the way that the deck is gonna be, like you're gonna have like aggro elements and like control elements it's just gonna be weird, but we we've played we played some in the past with like shielded and ring and solitude ephemerate grief and it's like it's like okay. The cursed red like saga, yeah. I mean, you you could play Jund. I know it's wild to say, but yeah, you could still register Jund in twenty twenty three. I was hoping to draw like any land so I could like play at least Jewel and Ring, but I can still cycle for a land, play the Ring, die if they have a counter spell, and go to game three. Only two cards though. So easy mode, I guess, is just drawing. Uh, that's hard mode being dead right now. Let's get drawing power plan and then just starting the the loop. Game three on the plane. Sorry, I'm gonna mute my phone. Trip, uh, Twitch travels is on Monday. Pillage. It's at. Hold on, I need to double check. It's either at eleven or one. <laughs> What do you do with this hand? Mulliganing probably. I think you just want to be mulliganing. Uh, yeah. This is this is something I again on on Monday I really just felt like I was not mulliganing nearly aggressively enough. Put back second shark here. Natural Tron against uh the mirror decks are pretty good since they usually just like can't keep you off of it. Okay. It is December 4th, and it is at, which is Monday, at 2 p.m. CST. I was wrong about the time. This is, this this means I guess I'll have some time to, like, talk about bands and stuff on stream and, like, filter into the Twitch Rivals as I beg everybody to watch me play Arena. But it'll be really fun. A lot of great streamers here. Wait, I thought Kibler was, uh, is Kibler not doing, oh, there he is, okay. I'm so excited to do an event with Kibler. I'm like the biggest fan. Okay, they mulligan to five also. I think how much fun. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's gonna it's 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 gonna be a weird event. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, it is not it is going to be a weird event. <laughs> uh, that is all about all I can guarantee. I think I want to play 3-3 three, three Ballista this turn. Oh, man, maybe this is a little bit too rash. It just like definitely seems like they have a Bowmaster, but I should probably have played Island this turn and then uh, ballisted the Bowmaster next turn. I think I'm kind of committed here. I just want to use my... I, I, have my, I have my mana pretty accounted for next turn with the Shark. Yeah, start is 2 p.m. CST. So I guess I guess I could maybe do like... I know Monday's weird because it's also the band day. It's it, oh, I, I, I'm tentatively planning to be live before and then pivot into it. Have I been testing decks? Um, no, I haven't. I, 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 I'll figure it out. They don't really look too too difficult to pilot. I do think, like, Amy... Like, I'm also just not going to be able to catch up in experience. Like, 
I'm not going to be able to catch up an experience to someone who plays standard full time in a week. Um, I <laughs> and I also have like a regular stream to prep for, so I'll just I'll just go off vibes and and see how it goes. Yeah, band announcement is also on Monday, so it is uh, going to be a big day on Monday. Okay, into six six Merktide. Things are going south. Still have Tron. Did not draw anything though. I'll cycle the obstructionist into turn, even if I don't get to counter anything. Kind of hoping they draw like Street Wraith and I just get to like counter get out. They probably won't think about obstructionist countering Wraith. They put Tidebinder in the graveyard, which is scary because that card's like really good here. So maybe they're looking for a land for another Tidebinder or something. I guess I can also just ca cast the Obstructionist and put myself in a spot where I'm winning the race. They could have a Bowmaster, which Cycle is also not amazing against Bowmaster. I think I'm kind of down for this. Obviously, they're going to have um, less... So I'm not winning this race. Wait, am I? Two, three, hit. Hit, hit. Yeah, I am. I also can craft the jewel next turn. Oh, no, I can't. Unless this dies. Or I draw something. But I don't actually... I, I'm missing a card to craft with. So it does seem like they have a counter spell. Cycles dress down end of turn. Okay, so this is nine mana. So I, I so I, I tap all of my Tron Tron lands, craft Ballista, and I can put I can put two counters on the jewel and then ping for four. So I can deal four damage. But this is only if I can get another card to craft. So if I draw a Signet Expedition Map, I mean I have to spend mana on those. Signet is fine, or if the, or if the Obstructionist dies. Oh wait, no, sorry. I'm I'm wrong. I have to craft. Let's craft four, not craft three. So I guess I can't craft. I'm just drawing Ultron lands. Can it craft with itself? Well, you can craft with itself. But this is not in the graveyard yet. Can you exile Zerda from your hand? Wait, I can craft the obstructionist from play. Can I can I craft this? This is can I craft this from play? It says other. Four or more non lands with activated abilities. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say other. But then I exile it, right? But then it. But then it, but it, but then it gets exiled, so I can't. So yeah, so we can we can craft it, but then it just exiles itself. Am I understanding that correctly? Let's just pass, and then, like, if they present lethal, then we can, like, just YOLO try to do it. It says in their minor text. I saw the four more artifacts from... Oh, okay, from other permanents. I see it's in their minor text. Okay, never mind. It. Got it. Far out. Okay, no attacks is nice. We're, we're going to attack if we draw, like, a signet or a map or something, so we have so many live draws here. Uh, this has an activated ability also. So I should so I should attack. Yeah, I should attack and then try to win with the craft. Craft also is a sorcery. It's craft the this card is like just so. I I just wish this card just like entered untapped and didn't have this backside. <laughs> that would be so much better and simpler. It's fine. Okay, so it's nine five. Craft. Two, three, four. So I guess they get tied binder this. I'm going for it them. Then we put a counter on the ballista, which copies, so it puts two counters, and then we ping, which copies, which deals two damage. Let's go. 
Let's run it back to you. I'm very excited about this deck. This deck is sick. I'm like, I, I, it's also like always a good sign when I'm like not piloting the stuff super optimally. I'm like learning and we're still like doing well anyways. Like definitely like our, our match against like Grixis Shadow. Like I could have crafted the buy another turn if they bricked. I'm <laughs> sorry.